Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to give you an update on the Husqvarna Viking uh, CL8, rotary CL8. Um, I wanted to get started on restoring this machine immediately, uh, but I know it's going to need some belts, so I'm going to wait till I can find those. If anyone knows where I can get some belts for this, um, I don't know if they still make them at sewing machine places. Uh, do I have to go on eBay? I saw some on Etsy. They looked kind of homemade. I'll put a picture up. Um, maybe not homemade, but they had a seam. And I'm like, well, the belt maybe shouldn't have a seam. It was like it was glued together. Anyway, beside the point. But I wanted to show you inside and um, let you know, kind of, or show you what it's looking like in there. So to get in this little section here, it's just two screws, one there and there. And I finally figure out how to load the bobbin. Or not load it, but wind it. it goes on there. So someone already probably knew that that's watching. And then you pull that thing out if you wanna slow down the motor. So I haven't played with that yet. But um, I don't know. I don't know if that, it fits, so I don't know if it belongs to it, because it's got a little, I don't know. It fits, so I guess it's fine. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, so let me get this opened up. As you can see here, there is, get my camera to focus, there is dust, that is belt dust. And it's just disintegrated, it's still on there, but I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera, but uh, obviously there's dust everywhere, belt pieces everywhere. And if you touch it, which I probably shouldn't, you can see it's coming off of my fingers already. So absolutely needs replaced. Still spins, but I think it's slipping on there or something. I don't know, who knows? It needs replaced, whatever the case is. Um, the belt, I'll, again, I'll show you that picture and um, it doesn't look the same. It's different shape, it's round, it's, it might work, I don't know. So we'll see. So get the belts replaced and actually while I have it opened up, I wanna see what it does when I press on the foot control. I probably should not be doing this, but I have it all plugged in. Let's see. Oh, it's turning. So that turns. but the needle is not going up and down. So, you know, this belt, like I said, needs replaced, absolutely. But it's maybe another belt. So let me show you another, another part of the machine. So I've moved to the back of the machine now and I've discovered this thing. Oh, also, before I move on, that piece of felt does go there. So it's just a tiny piece of felt, which is, because it's a tiny little bottom. And I'll show you that real quick. Not that you really need to see it. And why it's sticky, I'm not sure. So something got spilled on it, I guess. Or maybe it was stuck down. But it goes there. So I'll just keep it there for now. So this thing uh, tilts open. And then you can see the inner workings of this part of the machine. Um, I think there's another belt. Actually, it doesn't... I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you this very well, but let me try. This I looked up, this is a timing belt. And I saw replacements for other machines, other models, I don't know if it'll fit this one, but it was originally white, so I think it's made out of cloth maybe, and it's black from being oiled, I, I'm guessing, I don't know. But the white ones were cloth, but I don't know. I had to go grab some more light to show in here and I filmed this once already with a flashlight and I didn't hold my flashlight still so I'm refilling it. So I just wanted to show you the belt and it's right here, 
right on the left side of there. It's hard to see. And like I said, this was a timing belt, perhaps made of cloth. And let me see if I can get this better lit so you can see everything. Um, so again, when you're pushing the foot control, it just spins that bottom part. So I don't know. It seems like looking down there, it seems like everything is hooked up okay. I'm gonna grab my flashlight again. So when I did this before, it kinda, I wasn't holding the flashlight steady, so it looked like it was gonna give people seizures. <laughs> Um, everything looks fine in there other than the brittle belts. Um, I don't know. Let me try something. I'm going to pull this little bobbin cover. See, I don't, I know I've said this, but does that even belong? I don't know. All the pictures I'm seeing of it, I have to look in the manual again because I don't know if that even, it fits, but does it belong? So if you pull this thing off, the thing that doesn't belong, <laughs> and the bobbin goes on there to wind it, snaps right on, and then that belt's gonna break anytime now. <laughs> that belt should be easy to re replace. It's the other one I'm thinking. It's not gonna be fun. So pull that off. Um, the picture I see, this thing isn't in them. And then if you pull that out, wait, there's like, yeah, there's two levers or two levels. Pull that out and it makes the motor slower. So I guess if you have heavy duty stuff. And then, I don't know. Well, let's see what it does if I, Got the thing off, the bobbin white handle off, and whoa! Oh my goodness! It's working! Holy moly! Um, this white thing just doesn't belong in there, so it makes the machine think that there's always a bobbin on there, so that's why the bottom is spinning and not the rest of it. So when I pulled that thing off, It like fixed it, even though it wasn't broken. Now I really want to sew something, but I'm afraid I'll break those belts. So maybe I should put some belt conditioner on them or oil. I don't know if you should oil them with sewing machine oil or I have belt conditioner for my car. I don't know if that's gonna... In any case, they still need to replace, but the thing works. That's awesome. It's not a broken thing. It just really works. Very exciting. Um, so I will do my uh, baby lock imagine serger video, and then I'll start on the restoration of this and show you those videos. And now I feel like my job's gotten much easier because I can clean and I can get rust off and I can put oil in there. So that's cool. Anyway, I'm very excited. Uh, thanks for watching everyone and make sure you subscribe and comment if you have any questions or if you want to tell me anything you want to tell me or suggest a video, that'd be great. Uh, thanks for watching and take care.